Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. It's that time of year again. We're, we're finally getting some new cards. Um, and their harmony and their... There's a scenario involved. It's like... This is crazy, man. And I mean, like, the one card is possibly the cutest card of all time. Um, it might beat out Knickers. Knickers might have a run for his money. Um... Let's check these cards out. We're going to go through them in order. Um, uh, first one we'll do is uh, Chameleon. Uh, Chameleon is a 4 for 4. So it's got a 4 strength body. It's eating a lightning bug. Um, it's a beast. Okay. Deploy. Infuse self with a random Scoia'tael primary category you don't control. Order. Replace self. Then reduce own base power by one. So you get to a random Scoia'tael primary category you don't control. So it it gets something that you don't have on the board just yet. So I mean, harmony, harmony categories. You got dryads, beasts currently. Um, one gnome in Percival, one elf with the half elf hunter, Sarissa, Weeping Willow, Saskia, and then uh, you do have uh, Waters of Broccolon still, too. Um, and then you order Replace Self and re Reduce Own Base Power by one. So you get two categories out of it. So it's like. Uh, It's like double assimilate it seems like i mean the order makes it kind of awkward and it dropping its own power by one but the card seems pretty good i mean it's a it seems like it's a better dryad fledgling right but you still would play fledglings yeah it seems pretty great i i could see this uh i mean you you could, you could, it doesn't have to be on the board. It's, it's just a random Scoia'tael category that you don't control. So it doesn't need to copy anything. But you're going to want stuff on the board because you want to hit that extra category. All right. It's cool. Here's the, the baby. Look at this chunky boy. Or, oh, it's a girl probably because it's got a little, little baby with it. Ethereum? Antherian. It's a owl, owl elk bear, which, I mean, those are three of my favorite animal categories right there. <laughs> I love this art. I can't wait to see it in premium in all its majestic glory. Uh, CDPR put this in a plushy form in the CDPR store. Uh, we need it badly. Um, I'm so happy that Harmony's getting some love. Um, they were really, really toxic back in the day, but I like when bad archetypes come back in full force. And even if they're overpowered, I don't care because I just want to see, you know, something come back, you know. All right. So it's a cursed. So we're adding cursed to the copy, which is cool. Um, harmony. Order. Infuse an allied unit with harmony. So, you get to pick which one. So, you drop this, you get your your Thrive, quote-unquote, Harmony off of it. And then you can give another unit Harmony. So, that lets you pick something that's currently not Harmony to get extra Harmony value. Which is nice. Um, getting an extra, you could put it on like the... The Deadeye that spawns off a Half-Elf Hunter is a possibility. Um, I mean, it, it's any card though, right? You could just go to Scoia'tael and... Uh, you know... You could give Gezrus Harmony, according to this. I mean... Um, Force Protector, you know, that's a nice uh, addition to Harmony because you want those traints. Um, 
It wouldn't work on Sabertooth Tigers. I think it would go away when you flip it. If it doesn't, then, well, it's a beast, though. I mean, but still. I guess you could put it on Vanadane, but that doesn't seem very plausible. Um, yeah, I mean, you could put it on any card. Trent Boar. There's lots of options with it. I love the card. I love it. I don't care if it's bad or not. I'm going to play it just because I want to see that chunky-ass boy on the screen. Um, Alright, let's check out the... The epic Lake Guardian Dust Aspect. Beast Cursed. We got another Cursed. Look at the headdress on this thing, man. How crazy. It's So it starts out at 1. It's 8 provisions. Um... Harmony. This unit's harmony is also triggered in hand and in deck. Wow. So it's 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 kind of like a gourd for harmony, right? I mean, in eight, it's it's in that gourd range. So you have to trigger harmony seven times, which should be no problem at all. I mean, especially if you're giving additional cards that don't have harmony, harmony. Currently, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're adding three more. Oh, this one actually doesn't have harmony on it. Oh, yes, it does. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, you got a full board. You trigger, say you trigger, it's not capped either. Um, yeah, it's not capped, so... It seems like it's a gourd for, for Harmony. I think it's it's definitely going to go in the deck if you're building it. It's cheap. It should probably be like a 13-14. You call it out with uh, Call of the Forest. Um, you can't use uh, Isengrim's Council, unfortunately. But you have a tutor for it. That's nice. I like it. I think the art's fantastic. I mean, I love this. I can only imagine this thing, like, just staring you down. Incredible. I love it. And then the last one's a three-part scenario. I, I kind of had a feeling. I asked the question um, when they had the one of the twigs to Jean, and he said no comment, so I knew they were coming. Um, but, uh... Mysteries of Loch Fian. Sorry for the quality of the picture at the uh, I couldn't get it anywhere else <laughs> um so it's a scenario it is cursed which is um quite odd um I wonder if this when the scenario comes down if it triggers thing I I, I don't remember did no it it, it it shouldn't that's doomed scenario progress one whenever you play a unit with harmony Spawn Lake Guardian Dawn Aspect in this row and set its power to the number of Scoia'tael units with unique primary categories in your starting deck. So it's on a row. So you have to row stack. So that's what you get initially. So you kind of play this as like a home... Or you play this after... It's not like Siege where you get it going. Like you play this after you have the units down. So that makes it kind of awkward because if they start killing these things off, um, this thing might not get that much value. Uh, chapter 1. Whenever you play a Scoito unit, boost it by 1 for every category it has. Okay. Chapter 2. Spawn and play a Lock Fane Convergence. There's a lot to unpack here. Um, let's make it a little bit smaller. Oh, that's bigger. Shit. Um, so, we want to look at the first one, which is the Dawn of the Aspect, which I think is this one. Yes, Dawn of the Aspect. This looks like some type of like uh, Mayan or Aztec type art man i love it it's like 
it's like Canby 2.0. <laughs> um, so it's just a Cursed Dune token, but it has... And it starts out as one, but it boosts itself. Set its power to the number of square tail units with unique primary categories in your starting deck. Ah, in your starting deck. I see. So, yeah, that's going to start out pretty beefy. You should have at least like five or six, I would think, unique categories. You're probably going to have more than that. Isn't there another thing where you want to put one of Saskia? Would you play Saskia in this deck with Harmony? Ten categories. So if you played Saskia in this, that's 28 provisions, granted. <laughs> um, but you would have ten categories, so that would start out as a nine. That's crazy. I don't know how you fit all that, but if that's how I'm reading it the right way. And then the Convergence. Lock, Fane, Convergence. Doomed creature, a bronze squid tail unit with a primary category that you don't control. Okay, so it's a finisher that you have to have units on the board to proc the category. But I think that thing's starting out as... If you could get it at an 11, holy shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Squoyotel looks like they're going to be a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited. Start jamming some games. We'll start getting some content out. Um, pretty soon here. I, I've had some schedule changes and stuff. That's why I haven't had a whole lot of video time. I do. I have been doing some streams here and there. Um, so if you pop on by, I'll put my link for my Twitch. You guys are fantastic. I'll see you guys at the open. I'll be uh, moderating there. Stop by and say hello. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.